Hey everyone, it's Nancy, and I'm here with another video for Water Kid Crafts for the Wild Bunch. And sorry it's been a little while since I did a video. It's been a little crazy in my life. But um, I wanted to show this altered wooden frame. And this is one of the frames that you get at Michael's, just a plain one. And for those of you that don't have a Michael's, I did see these exact frames at Walmart for a dollar. So if you don't have a Michael's, you can check out your Walmart because they have them too. So for this frame, I used A Lady's Diary by Graphic 45. Beautiful, beautiful paper. It's probably one of my favorites ever. And it was just dying to be fussy cut, so I went to town on it. And it took me a couple days to get all the pieces done that I wanted. So, but I'm going to share with you my frame. And for the frame, I stained it. You can see on the back, um, I used the Walnut Stain. Distress Stain by Tim Holtz and then on the front I covered it with the ladies diary paper the script page the diary the actual diary papers and then in the center I used this paper and then all of these pieces from the paper collection are all fussy cut there's this piece in the corner and I do have it on dimensionals and then this piece here also on dimensionals, then the lady, and then this clock is part of this flower grouping here. And then this banner was cut from the paper, as well as there's another clock and flowers up here in the corner. So lots of fussy cutting for that. This paper just screams to be cut. It's just gorgeous. And then I started adding flowers, and I used the peach trellis roses and a cream cottage rose. There's um, some lilies in here, and then this is a daffodil right here, which to me kind of look like these flowers here in the paper. And again on this side, some more lilies, a couple of leaves, another cottage rose, there's another daffodil down in here, some lilies here. These are the crystal chandeliers in pink. And then another cottage rose here, and some more lilies, and then this beautiful Guy Pure lace across here. Absolutely stunning lace. I did mist everything with Lindy's. I used the Sunset Pink Glit Spritz, and I used the Royal Amber Fire, and I use this one a lot. I really, really love this one. And then I used some scintillating silver as well. So those are the spritzes that make the flowers so shimmery and pretty. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll list all the items that I use down below. And thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to check out the Watercraft Craft Store for all their beautiful items. Talk to you later.